How prepared are we for the second coming of our Lord? Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Our retreat master in high school asked this question. If you are playing football and suddenly you hear a mystical voice telling you that the world will end tomorrow with the second coming of our Lord, what are you going to do? No one dared to answer the question. And after some time, he called me for my response. After a long pause, I said in a soft, tentative voice, I guess I will stop playing, go to the chapel, make an examination of conscience, and look for a priest to hear my confession. Two more students gave the similar answers, but another student said, I will keep on playing. With this, the priest replied, You have the correct answer, but are you sure you are prepared for the second coming of our Lord? Or you have heard the right answer before? I remember this embarrassing experience reading today's gospel where the Lord warned His disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day the Lord will come. We need to be attentive to the Lord's warning, to the wicked servant who thought that his master was not coming anytime soon, so he can take his time to enjoy his power over his fellow servants, abusing them and indulging himself. Later on, he can shape up and prepare for his master's arrival. This mindset is quite common in the world today, even among Christians. And as the saying goes, life is long, I have plenty of time, let us drink, eat, enjoy, and be merry. Later on, when I'm older, I can pay attention to God and follow His ways. There are two problems in this mindset that we need to be aware of. The first is the false assumption that we have plenty of time before we die or the second coming of the Lord. Thus, the warning, you do not know on which day the Lord will come. We do not know when or how our life will end. We should always be prepared as if our life were going to end tomorrow. The second mindset is more problematic, that we are better off following our own ways than the ways of the Lord. This is what Bishop Robert Barron referred to as living life in our own ego drama, where we are the writer, director, and lead actor, then live in the theodrama where God is the writer, director, and lead actor in our life. My dear brothers and sisters, let us adopt the mindset and lifestyle of the faithful and prudent servant in the gospel today. Following God, seeking His will, and choosing the way of love, which will lead us to true, lasting joy and peace, even while we are still on earth. 
awaiting the arrival of our Lord and Master. And let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for exhorting us to stay awake and be always ready for the time you will call us or for your second coming. May we continue to adopt the attitude of being prepared at all times. This we ask and pray in your most holy name, O Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.